Okay, here's a still for all you mad scientists out there. But I guess you could use this type of still for water. It is a little jar inside of a bigger jar. And uh, I'm not sure where the sun is, but it could be a solar powered still, or you could just put it on a register or something. If you don't want your fumes to get out into the room, or you don't want contaminants to get into there, you want to keep it as a sealed system. Or you want to save the stuff that comes out and distill it out here. The still can be used for many different purposes. It could be used for distilling water or uh, distilling uh, liquids off of, uh, solids and purifying chemicals, whatever you want. Interesting idea. I keep things pure because it's two separate containers. No uh, garbage will come, be coming in from the outside here. Yeah, we got some interesting stuff going on on the inside. We'll see how this turns out. And anyway, this is uh, one way to make a simple solar-powered still. Okay, it's been raining for the last couple days, but uh, so I can make my own artificial sunlight with a light bulb. And so here's the idea of how it would work: is the light would shine on the uh, on the uh, glasses, but it would be absorbed by the liquid in the inner cylinder and it would preferentially evaporate out and have very low probability of going back in. So we'll see how this works. Okay. Solar powered still. Okay, got an incandescent light bulb now. And uh, take a look down here. Looks like we're starting to get bubbles in the uh, liquid. I'm starting to get foggy stuff on the outside of the glass, so it looks like the still is starting to work. There's fog on the back side. Okay, the still's been running for about a week, and uh, got a bunch of water here on the bottom. But I think it's not working too efficiently because. Uh, Probably the crystals that I have in there are hygroscopic, so I'm going to try to get some of the water out and let it run some more, because I really just want to dry out the, the solid stuff without getting junk in it. Okay. Okay, so here we are, about a week later, and uh, of course if you just had regular water in there, it would uh, distill very quickly. But uh, I had some crystals in there, some salts that were very hygroscopic, so it's been taking a very long time to force all the water out of it, and I've been pulling the water out of the other side so it doesn't uh, get back up into the atmosphere and go back into the crystals. And uh, basically I didn't want toxic fumes to come out or bugs or whatever to get in there while I'm distilling it. So having it in a sealed container like this is a good way of doing it. And so here's the conclusion of our uh, solar powered, or I guess it's light powered, but it could be solar powered if you stuck it outside. Uh, simple to build still with a jar inside of a jar. Anyway, this is Dr. Jaynes and thanks for watching.